Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Ignis. Huge thanks to Ignis and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Ignis reached out asking for a deck led by Obeka, Splitter of Seconds, and I was more than happy to build it for him. If you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and if you like the deck list, consider sharing this video as well. Obeka, Splitter of Seconds, is a 4-mana 2-5 legendary Ogre Warlock with Menace. Whenever she deals combat damage to a player, we get that many additional upkeep steps after this phase. Which means if she deals two damage, we get to have two upkeep steps back to back before our next main phase. If she deals 10 damage, we get 10 upkeeps. Okay, so we want effects that are good for us during our upkeep and or negative for our opponents. Also, Ignis specifically requested that I include Paradox Haze in this deck. But before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. One of my favorite products Ultimate Guard has is their Xenoskin Sidewinder. The Sidewinder has a soft microfiber lining, as well as the rugged Xenoskin shell we've all come to love. While the Sidewinder isn't a new product, they are now available in the beautiful Two-Tone Synergy series, like this blue-white one seen here. Find out if your local game store carries Ultimate Guard products, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy-dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. One last announcement before we get into our video. In addition to streaming on Twitch, I will be dual streaming on a new YouTube channel as well. Check out Gaming with Danon if you want to catch me live. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Polluted Delta, Bloodstained Mire, Scalding Tarn, Misty Rainforest, Marsh Flats, Arid Mesa, Xander's Lounge, Watery Grave, Blood Crypt, Steam Vents, Morphic Pool, Luxury Suite, Training Center, Shipwreck Marsh, Haunted Ridge, Storm Carved Coast, Drowned Catacomb, Dragon Skull Summit, Sulphur Falls, Undercity Sewers, Raucous Theater, Thundering Falls, Bajuka Bog, Four Islands, Four Swamps, and Four Mountains make up the land base for this deck. Lotus Bloom, Mox Tantalite, Soul Talisman, Rousing Refrain, Midnight Clock, Descent into Avernus, Replicating Ring, as foretold, Tempting Contract, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Dominance, Talisman of Indulgence, and Talisman of Creativity help us to ramp out and stay ahead of the curve. Why yes, that is a lot of suspend cards. Why do you ask? Ancestral Vision, Inspiring Refrain, Profane Tutor, Wheel of Fate, Phyrexian Arena, Thopter Spy Network, Outpost Siege, Twilight Prophet, Tamio's Journal, Urabrask Heretic Praetor, Bone Horde Dracosaur, The Magic Mirror, Staff of Nin, and Indulgent Tormentor help us to dig through our deck and keep our hands full. Sensing a theme with the Suspend cards? I thought you might be. Curse of the Cabal. Inevitable Betrayal. Abraid. Bedevil. Terminate. Feed the Swarm. Chaos Warp. Negate. And Counterspell help us to keep our opponents in line. Toxic Deluge. Blasphemous Act, 
and cyclonic rift help us to reset the board as needed. Paradox Haze, Sphinx of the Second Sun, Deep Sea Kraken, Joyra of the Gitu, Shieldred Whispering One, Bitter Blossom, Mechanized Production, Court of Ambition, Creeping Bloodsucker, Endless Ranks of the Dead, The Scarab God, Court of Cunning, Skyline Despot, Chandra Awakened Inferno, Virtue of Persistence, Extravagant Replication, Palace Siege, and Court Adventures make up the core of our deck and how we plan on winning. Supporting our plan, we've also got Venser's Journal, Ring of Valkus, Lightning Greaves, and Swiftfoot Boots. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 51 mana sources split between 37 lands and 14 pieces of ramp. 14 pieces of card advantage. 9 pieces of interaction. 3 board wipes. 1 piece of graveyard hate in Bajukabog. 1 sudden I win card in Ring of Valkus. The bigger Obeka is, the more upkeeps we'll have. Which means all of our court enchantments will be dealing more damage, drawing us more cards, or draining our opponents more. Now, with this deck, we will be damaging ourselves a lot, so we'll probably want to tutor for something like Twilight Prophet or Palace Siege in order to keep ourselves alive. Because if we get four or five upkeeps every turn, even Phyrexian Arena's damage will add up quickly. Although, the extra cards we'll be drawing every turn will help to ease the pain. Of course, mechanized production combined with Descent into Avernus could win us the game on the spot in the right circumstances. Are you building an Obeka Splitter of Seconds deck? What's your secret deck deck? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor CuteStuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash You can have a video made or just ask for help building or tuning a deck list. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Borgi, Naswin, Pedro, Minge, Alex, Alex, Julio, Valeria, Conga, Ignis, RJ, Aaron, Chris, Robert, Joel, Brock, and Michael. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.